Okay, the uh, purpose of this video is to show the code that I created for natural langu language processing and creating a chatbot. Um, in this case, I chose to do a chatbot that would discuss with the user um, on the topic of cybersecurity, although it could very easily be changed. So the first side I'd like to show is the text. I'm basically importing the, um, the library's beautiful soup which uh, helps you pull data out of HTML files. Uh, URL lib handles uh, URLs for Python. And then the uh, NLTK, Natural Language Toolkit, actually helps do the uh, processing of the, uh, the language. So right here in the beginning, I'm basically reading from this Wikipedia page and it's uh, com computer security. And so uh, it's actually just importing this as raw data. Beautiful Soup is working on it and creating paragraphs and sentences from that data. Um, the other things that happen is uh, punctuations get removed. It gets uh, put into lowercase um, at, to, to prepare to, to respond to the user. Now the other thing I have here are greeting inputs and replies and this essentially determines what things that the user can say that would be considered a greeting. And then if they uh, give one of the top row, they would get back one of these bottom row. So I've got a couple uh, functions here. One is reply greeting, and that basically just chooses a random reply for, um, for when they do receive one of these input texts. Um, and then for giving reply, same thing. It uh, returns a chatbot response. Essentially what this whole thing is doing is finding a similar sentence uh, in order to uh, determine whether or not the topic is relevant to the input. The submit function is just how we interact with the user and it's handling the inputs and the outputs. And uh, there's a nested if else statements which determine what type of input the user is giving. And then finally, it, it, it gives the responses to those. Clear is very simple, just clears the input and the chat log. Quitting the program uh, destroys the, the program in the window. Welcome determines uh, the initial welcome message. And then finally, the return topics is how you determine what topics are available to the user, and that's determined in this topics.txt file, which I manually pulled out of the Wikipedia page so that I could give the user some kind of indication of the things that they could talk about. And then down here, uh, using the GUI with TK enter, and um, I've got the, the chat log, the window, scroll bar, search button, clear button, actually that should be a submit button, and, um, and finally putting all that into a normal order. So that's basically how it runs, and the next thing I'll do is show the actual functionality. Okay, now that we're looking at the interface, the user interface for the uh, Cyberbot, we can see here we've got the welcome message that we talked about in the actual uh, code review. Uh, so if we greet the actual bot, uh, we'll get one of the responses that we talked about over here in the code. So I basically put in hello. It said a hello there. If I put in afternoon, I'm going to get one of the other re replies. So that's how the, uh, the greeting works. Now, uh, as you can see here, I added this uh, type topics to learn what I know about. So we can type topics. And essentially, we get a, a um, outline of the things that uh, this knows about. So if we put uh, denial of service, I'll copy that. We'll put it down here. And we submit that. Uh, that should do that. Oh, I know why. It's because there's no punctuation that got taken out. So there you go. Uh, denial of service attacks, DOS, are designed to make a machine or network resource unavailable to its in intended users. 
So that's that one. If we do social engineering, uh, that first one didn't work because it actually had punctuation still and the processing stripped that out. Okay, social engineering text can still be difficult to foresee and prevent. So basically what it's doing is it's finding different items within, within the text that match with the query. Okay, preying on a victim, victim's trust. Phishing can be classified as a form of social engineering. So the nice thing about this is I'm using a Wikipedia page. Um, I'm not doing anything special except for processing through uh, NLTK and the different, um, the different libraries, um, the word limitizers, and um, where are they? Let's see. these two tokenizers. Other than that, I'm leaving the text the way it is, uh, and it's able to find things that are, um, that make sense. So I've got aviation as one of the things, we'll try that. And it, it just finds whatever it can that's close to there. Now, what it doesn't do is if I type the same thing again, it should give me the same response. So what we could do uh, over time is it's finding the best statement. There could be a way of eventually adding code in which goes for the second best, third best, best and so and so. So those are some of the items. Um, if we go into eavesdropping, just to show how this works a little bit more. There you go, eavesdropping is the act of surreptitiously listening to a private computer conversation, typically between hosts on a network. So essentially we're using all of this, um, and if I put nonsense in here, it just says, sorry, I don't understand. So that's how we do our uh, error handling. So as you can see, the, the cool thing about this is I could simply change out the Wikipedia page or the web page, change the name of this and repurpose it for another business or user. So that's basically how this works. Um, and I've done different, uh, I tried to keep it so that it was two different um, formats between the user and the bot, just to make it a little bit more clear in the UI. So that's basically how this works. I do also, I maintain the clear button from one of my other programs. So if I want to clear it out and start fresh, I can do that. Okay. And, you know, once again, anything really that's in here, except for, um, except for the ones with punctuation, it, it'll it'll find something for us on each of those. So that's the overview of the program. Um, this is a chat bot that's using uh, the a live uh, web page to do this. I could change that. Uh, and I'm also using this topics.txt, which allows me to show the user the things that they can talk about. So that's uh, the end of this overview. Any questions, please leave them in the comments.